Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey guys and girls, my name is Elon. You might know me over from the YouTube channel, um, app 411. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to auto-tune in GarageBand. So basically, auto-tuning is the effect that gives you um, the sound, your, gives your singing the sound like T-Pain. So, um, first step is to go ahead and launch GarageBand. It'll take a second and open up a new project, Pain. You're going to go ahead and click on Voice and name your song. I'm going to call it um, Auto Tune T Pain. And keep all the main settings and create the song. Once it opens, the next step is to choose um, your your track. I happen to be male, so I will choose the male basic track. Or if you're female, you choose the female basic track. So um, the next step is to record yourself singing something with different notes. So I'm not such a great singer, so it won't be so great. But after the auto-tune, it will make you sound a lot better. So this is who it's recommended for. So um, I will sing... Geekstopperillo.com And that's Geekstop what it sounds like. As I said, that is what it sounds like. And the next step is to go over and click this button in the bottom left here. And edit the part that does not have you singing in it. So the first part at the beginning will sound like some white noise. Like that. And you're just going to go ahead and select it and delete it. And you'll do the same at the end right where that little click is from my MacBook and drag it all the way to the left. Now the next step is to make sure that you have this chosen and to choose your desired volume. So I'm going to keep it at the preset volume but you might want to have it uh, higher or lower um, depending on what you're using it in what song or something and what side you want them to come out of the speakers. So I'm just going to keep the preset settings. And the next step is to go to the audio region settings and pull enhanced tuning all the way to 100. So this is if you want to get the full T-Pain effect and you want it to sound um, as much as you can like the auto-tune. Um, the next thing you're going to do is limit it to the key. Again, if you want to, you can um, not limit it to the key, which will make it just sound a little bit of a change between the notes. And you can change the pitch if you'd like, which I'll show you right after I show you what it's like with the enhanced tuning and limiting to key. So this is what your product looks like right now, or sounds like right now. Geekstopperillo.com And as you can tell, it sounds a whole lot better than it did before. And one more thing is you can change the pitch, as I said. So I am going to bring it down to negative three. And as you will hear, it sounds a lot lower than it did before, but it still is my voice. So I would recommend using this if you were to want to use an announcer type voice, but you can't um, afford like someone to do it for you, or you don't have anyone else to do it for you. You can just change the pitch of your voice when you talk. Um, so that's about it about auto tuning. This is again Elon. You might know me as at 411 making this video for geeks.perillo.com. And that is about it for this video. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.